Hi, I'm Jenny. Everyone loves pancakes for breakfast, but I want to show you how to make a new, even better kind of pancake. We're going to show you how to make Ebel skewers today. Ebel skewers are filled pancake balls. So you take just a plain pancake batter that you would make normal pancakes out of on a griddle, and you're going to combine it with some secret surprise fillings that you're going to tuck into the center of the Ebel skewers. You're going to use a pan called an Ebel skewer pan, which Nordicware makes. Now, this is a pan that originated in Denmark probably hundreds of years ago and traditionally would have apple slices tucked into the inside of it. Now, in modern day Ebel skewer making, we like to use things like chocolate, Nutella, fresh fruit, jams, jellies, pretty much anything works. My favorite filling actually is cheese to put in the middle. So, I'm gonna show you how we do this. It's pretty easy. Looks a little hard, maybe Ebel skewer's a little hard to pronounce, but by the end of this, we're gonna have you making them pretty quickly. Traditionally, Ebelskiver pans were made out of very heavy cast iron, and they didn't have nonstick coating on them, which meant that you had to cover the inside of the pan with either oil or lard or bacon fat to get these to turn out. Now, that doesn't sound quite as appetizing to modern tastes, so Nordicware has turned this into a cast aluminum pan, which gives you great even golden browning, as you can see with these ones that I already made. And it lightens the pan up, so this isn't gonna break your arm off when you try to pick it up. Great for glass top stoves. Most people with a glass top or ceramic stove wouldn't even dream of using a heavy cast iron pan on it, but cast aluminum is a whole different story. Ours is coated with nonstick too, so you really don't even need to use butter. In fact, I didn't use any kind of grease when I made these. Some people like to do it because it gives you a little added flavor though. So um, I'm gonna start out here. You can either use a pastry brush to brush the insides of each of them, or you can just take a tiny dab of butter and put it down inside of each well. If you don't have a pastry brush, it's fine to do the second method. Cast aluminum heats up very quickly. This has been preheating over medium heat for about three to four minutes. I'm just putting a dab of butter inside of each well here. Now I'm gonna take the apple skewer pan, lift it up, and I'm gonna twirl it around like this so that we get the butter to coat the insides of it. Now if you were going to use a pastry brush, which you don't have to do, you would go like this and just brush the inside of each well just to spread the butter out. Even if you do this, I really would only do it the first batch that you make because then the pan has the nonstick and it's gonna stay seasoned for the rest of the time you're using it. So, I have some plain pancake batter that I have mixed up here. You can use your favorite from scratch recipe or you can use box pancake mix from the store. It doesn't really matter. They're all gonna turn out great. One of the tricks here, when you're pouring the batter in, you don't wanna fill the wells all the way up. You wanna fill them about two thirds full. Reasoning behind this is that when you tuck the surprise fillings in, the batter is going to move up the sides of the pan around it and you don't want them to overfill because that actually will make a huge mess on your pan and even possibly on your stove. So you're just gonna fill them about two thirds to three quarters of the way full, just as I'm doing here. And then we're gonna get ready for the fillings. So today I decided to get out some fresh fruit. Got some nice blackberries and raspberries that I found. And we're gonna tuck those surprise fillings into the center. Now, next elbow skiver trick. When you're putting the fillings in, you want to make sure that you're tucking them all the way under the batter. And the reason for this is that when you go to turn the elbow skivers, you don't want whatever that filling is brushing up against the side of the hot pan. Let's say you had chocolate chips poking out of the top of here. Guess what? When you go to rotate the Ebel skewers, they're gonna stick up against the side of the pan and melt and make a big mess. So we're not gonna do that. So let me put the last one in there. So while the Ebel skewers are here cooking, I'm just gonna tell you another use for this pan. Lots of people think that you're only gonna make breakfast with this and oh, I might not buy that pan because I don't always make breakfast. Well, think again, you can use them for appetizers. How's that for an awesome appetizer to serve to your guests? You can use any kind of savory batter. So you could do a cheese batter. Uh, lots of people love to do a corn batter, like a corn meal. Um, you can tuck jalapenos, cream cheese into the inside of them. I've seen people cut up sausages and serve those on the inside. Really, possibilities are endless with this for hors d'oeuvre and appetizer options. So think about that if you're thinking about getting one of these pans, not just breakfast. All right, 
They're starting to bubble, so I think we're ready to turn them. Just like with traditional pancakes, you start to see little bubbles popping up in the tops when elbow skewers are ready to be turned. Just to be sure, I'm gonna give a little peek here. Yep, they're ready to be turned. So, you don't ever wanna use metal utensils on a nonstick pan, so that's why I'm using bamboo chopsticks. You could use kebab skewers, chopsticks, just not metal. You'll scratch your nonstick. So, these are really easy to turn. You just flip them over just like that. Just rotate and flip. The filling is staying nicely hidden inside of there. Oh, those are nice and golden brown. Look at that. Oh, this is what happens sometimes when you don't do a good enough job hiding your fruit that's tucked in the middle. The rest of these look great though. So the first side cooked for about two to three minutes. Depends on how hot your pan is, but the second side doesn't take quite as long. This is probably only gonna cook for a minute to a minute and a half. And like I said, you don't ever wanna have raw Ebel Skeever batter. Yuck, raw pancake dough is not good. So we'll just give these another minute or so on the stove and then they're gonna be ready to serve. Wow, I smell breakfast. These look like they're almost done. The most fun part with these, with serving them to a crowd for breakfast, is that everyone gets a surprise. You never quite know what you're gonna get in the center of them. It could be cheese, it could be chocolate, it could be fresh fruit. I'm hungry for breakfast. These are just so much fun, because you break them open and there's a surprise filling in the center of it. Look at that one, raspberry. Yum! Raspberries, maple syrup, pancake, 